Hey there, my name is Eric the IT Guy Hendricks and I'm a technical contributor here at Red Hat. Today I'm going to introduce you to the updated desktop experience for Red Hat Enterprise Linux for Workstation. Today we're going to take a tour of GNOME 40. Why choose Red Hat Enterprise Linux for your fleet of workstations? Simple. RHEL for Workstation combines everything you know and love about Red Hat Enterprise Linux for Server with a world-class Linux desktop. That includes a 10-year life cycle with 5 years of full support and 5 years of maintenance support. That life cycle also includes EUS, Extended Update Support releases. These releases, typically every even numbered release, are supported for 2 or 4 years, giving you more flexibility in your update process. Red Hat Enterprise Linux for Workstation also enjoys the benefits of certified hardware, access to our Red Hat support teams, and an extensive partner ecosystem providing support and applications for any number of workloads. Where might you use RHEL for Workstation? That's a great question. Workstation is designed with heavy compute in mind. Are you creating the next major animated blockbuster? Do you work with complex scientific models? Are you designing the next big skyscraper? Red Hat Enterprise Linux for Workstation has the raw power to help you get there. Are you no longer an office-based worker? Well, Red Hat Enterprise Linux for Workstation has you covered with flexible deployment options like bare metal, private and public cloud, and even as a virtualized workload. So what's new in RHEL 9? RHEL 9 not only has performance enhancements, a newer kernel, and improved security defaults, but it also comes with the beautiful GNOME 4D desktop. GNOME is a performant, low-impact desktop environment. It is appealing to the eye, but still low on resource utilization. Starting with RHEL 9.0, our workstation offering ships with the Wayland Desktop Compositor, now enabled by default. Wayland is designed to replace the aged X11 system and pull functions like audio and video into the desktop as first-class citizens. GNOME 40 also includes improvements in accessibility and memory utilization. Finally, if you work in an environment that requires strict security certifications, GNOME 40 includes classification banners, which now allow you to display warnings or informational messages about access or usage of your target systems. Why don't we take a look? For today's demonstration, I am logged into a virtual RHEL 9.0 machine with stock GNOME 40. The first thing to notice is the graphical login allows you to choose your account and input your password. Another thing to notice here is that in the bottom corner we can select between X11 and Wayland in case there are still a few X11 dependent applications in your workflow. Once we log in, we are immediately dropped into the Activities Overview. With any applications open, we'll be able to get a zoomed out view of all the windows currently open on our desktop. This allows us to quickly and easily switch between the active application by hitting the super key and selecting our preferred window. Also on the activities overview, we can see which applications are open or pinned to our dash taskbar. If you open an application and want it easily accessible in the future, just drag it across the dash and it will be there ready for when you need it next. On the top of our screen, we have the ability to search our instance of RHEL. You can start typing applications, file names, and even basic arithmetic. Also notice that on the right-hand side of our Activities Overview is another desktop. With GNOME 40, you can drop windows between different horizontally spread workspaces. This makes it incredibly easy to sort windows based on task. Need a workspace dedicated to your email and instant messengers? Done. Need another one for that blog you're writing? Just drag it to the other workspaces, and you're ready to go. Moving on from the Activities Overview, keyboard shortcuts also got an overhaul in GNOME 40. Now, if you have several workspaces in use, you can navigate between them using Super, Alt, and Arrow keys. Super, Alt, Right will move to the workspace on the right, and Super, Alt, Left to go back. You get the idea. If you want to get back to the Activities Overview, all you need to hit is the Super key. Ready to close it again? Just hit the Super key once more to go back to your previously used application. Finally, it has never been easier to access the huge software ecosystem available to Red Hat Systems or the associated community repositories. The best part is, there's no command line experience required. So why don't we install an application? For today's example, I often use LibreOffice to create and edit documents on my Linux workstation. I'm going to hit the super key and type SOFT to start spelling out software. GNOME checks its cache resources and finds a match to the GNOME Software Center. If I hit enter, I can open up the Software Center. You can see here very familiar visuals for today's App Store driven world. You have a scrolling banner of featured applications and the ability to search for applications based on a category. It is also worth mentioning that I can get an inventory of applications that are installed on my instance, as well as install updates from this window as well. For today's example though, we'll click on the magnifying glass to do a search. 
Like the activities overview, I can start typing in the name of my application and the search brings back related results. You can see here that it has no trouble finding LibreOffice and I can open up the software page by clicking on the search result. Like any app store, I can get a description, release information, and even see some reviews. One thing to notice is by default, the Software Center recommends installing the Flatpak. Flatpaks are an application packaging vehicle that includes all the needed libraries and dependencies inside the application. Flatpaks are also designed with application encapsulation in mind. In other words, a Flatpak only has access to the parts of the system that the developer allows it to. Granted, not every application has a flat pack yet, so in this situation, we can also install the traditional RPM just as easily. We can install, update, uninstall any of our packaging right from the software interface and never have to touch the command line. Today, we covered just a few of the highlights of GNOME 40. To try it out for yourself, head out to redhat.com slash tryrel. You can get signed up for a trial license of Red Hat Enterprise Linux and give the graphical desktop a try. Thank you so much for watching. Please let us know in the comments if there are other tech tips you would like to see, and be sure to subscribe to get more content just like this. Until next time.